So in today's video, I kind of want to do a video of my own interests. Uh, the interest being Graham Prime versus Galatine Prime. Now, the reason I say one of my interests is because of the fact that I like my heavy blades. So I decided to make an Excel sheet that compared Graham Prime and Galatine Prime. So first I'll cover their normal stats and then I'll cover the comparison with both. So let's cover those first, then the comparison. We'll test them out and then we'll go into a Steel Path mission. So there's going to be a picture on screen where you all will see where I'm getting my info from. So we'll first cover the Graham. Grand Prime has a 32% crit chance, 2.6 uh, times multiplier for its crit, 32% stash chance, has a range of 2.9, and attack speed of 0.8, it has 60 impact, 15 puncture, and 225 slash. The Galantine Prime, on the other hand, has a crit chance of 26%, it has a crit damage multiplier 2, has a stash chance of 26%, it has a range of 3 meters, has an attack speed of 1, has an impact of 7, a puncture of 7, and a slash of 266. So when you compare those, you will see that there is a 6% uh, difference between the two weapons crit chance. Same thing with the status chance. And it's only a 0.6 difference with the crit damage. The range is negligible. It's a 0.1. The attack speed is also negligible. It's 0.2. The impact is a 53%, not 53%, 53 stat change because the gram has higher impact than the galatine. Uh, it is an 8 on puncture since the gram is higher on that. But when it comes to the slash, it is 20 points different between the, not 20, not 20, 41 points different between the two. And the total damage is 20 difference with the Galatine having a total damage of 280 and the Graham having 300. So overall, when it comes to the stats, they are kind of eh when it comes to what you will be building on. You basically will build them the same as their stats are quite negligible when it comes to being compared with each other. So let's cover the build tie for each of them, test them on the simulacrum enemies, and then go into still path. So first look over the gram. Sadly, I had forgotten to make a build without the Riven, so I will just give you the rundown. The Riven is a crit damage Riven. Just put crit damage on it. Biggest change you can do right there. So the very first build is a viral electricity or you use melee influence build. So pretty bog standard. Conditional overload, blood rush, weeping wounds. You got viral, you have uh, electricity, and then you have prime reach for a little bit more range. This mod can be changed to be whatever you like. If you want to have more attack speed, slap on attack speed. If you want to have a uh, Bane mod, slap on a Bane mod. Next will be the Corpus. Same as the last one, except I've added a little bit more crit damage in replace of... Um, Weeping Wounds, because I, I didn't really think I needed it for the Corpus. So we have Organ Shatter to replace Weeping Wounds, but we still have Prime Breach to add that little bit more range. And we're using Melee Vortex because we're using Magnetic and Toxin. Finally, my like and sub build is a funny build that works. It is a melee influence build with Blast. It works weirdly well on heavy blades like this. So use whatever you may like, build around this, try it out. We even use Berserker's Fury on this build. This time I end up changing. So let's cover the Galatine next, shall we? So I don't want to take up too much of your time because you probably are enjoying seeing the vid uh, video right now. If you guys uh, want to support my channel and want to see me grow, uh, hit that like button, do subscribe and turn on that bell for post notifications. That way you always get notified whenever I post another video. As I really do enjoy making videos for y'all, I want to see this channel flourish and thrive as, as a lot of y'all like watching my videos. Hell, some of my videos get thousands and thousands of views, but my channel doesn't grow as much. So if you want to see more stuff like this and see more videos pop out, do hit that subscribe button. So enjoy the rest of the video. Next is the Galantine Prime. Funnily enough, only needed one former for this, but there are changes you can make. Changes you can make is by replacing the Vs with dashes of the um, elemental mod that they are reciprocals of. So Virulent Scourge, you can use um, Beaver Strike, Voltaic Strike, you could use... Um, I don't even think Shocking Touch has a primed. You, you know what I meant. You could use the better version of them if you want. But this is running basically the same build as the Gram, where we have Kadesh Overload, Blood Rush, Weeping Wounds, Melee Influence build, except this case, with how low that Galantine Prime's crit damage is, I added Organ Shatter. And when it comes to this mod right here, uh, my Riven, you could replace this with Melee Damage or Crit Chance, hence what's on the uh, Riven. Replace it for what you want. Uh, hell, you could even put a Bane mod here. Next is the Corpus. Same thing as the other uh, build on the Gram, except in this case, I'm using dashes instead of Vs, aka not using 60-60s, I'm using dashes, because I wanted to try and see if it did better, and in this case, it did do better. Same thing, Melee Vortex using Magnetic and Toxin. Finally, same build as the Gram, because it works on this one too, and I love it for that reason. Something I did end up changing, though, is I believe I got rid of Weeping Wounds or Melee Elementalist. That's what it was. So we're using additional overload, blood rush, same thing with the mod, replace this from random uh, crit chance, melee damage, whatever you want. Volcanic Edge, Vicious Frost, Voltaic Strike. Once again, replace these mods with what you see fit. If I really wanted to, I could slap Northwind there, which I actually probably will. I'll keep that there. Voltaic Strike, we're going to shut it for more crit damage. So let's test out all the, uh, not all the builds. We'll test out the weapons, see which build I prefer. 
So when it comes to the build I'll be showing, I think we've all seen a melee influence build before. So instead, I'm going to show the funny build that works quite well due to how well the weapons function with blast now. So uh, I'm going to try to simulate what happens in most of my missions where I'm able to keep them clumped together. As you apply blast enemies, as you'll see, melee influence starts proc. Oh, well, that skipped a lot of what I was going to say. Melee influence spreads the blast as well. So it just continuously keeps well, moving on. And since enemies like to clump together in missions, it's easy to just and having the buff keep applying, so everything just starts exploding thanks to Blast. Let's cover the Galatine next, then we'll go to a mission. So, same thing, except now we're going to be using the Galatine. So, when it comes to the Galatine, as it does have a little bit more range than the competitor, as you'll see, I do get to hit a little bit further. But let's simulate, just like I had done with the Gram, a clustered set of enemies. So, let's see what happens. As you'll see, they all died roughly the same. The biggest difference between the Galantine Prime and the Grand Prime is the whole problem of crit. Due to how the Galantine has less crit than the Gram, it has a little bit of a struggle building up thanks to, well, lower stats. I'll take both into a mission. I'll show off both of them fighting enemies, both of them killing an Acolyte, and then I'll give my final thoughts on both. So I'll see y'all in there. So here we are in the mission. I I accidentally had brought the wrong build a second ago, so I went back to the Orbiter and swapped it. Now I'm actually using the proper build. Oh, I'm going to run out of energy. Oh, that's fine. But as you see with how blast works in these types of missions, it just kind of spreads to the local enemies and pop goes the weasel. They all they all kind of just explode. Hence why I really do like using blast on weapons now, like melee weapons, because as you are attacking a ton, you're able to. Uh, sorry about that. Sorry, choking up on air. Uh, you start just spreading a ton of the status effect thanks to melee influence with electricity. And that's right there. That's right there. That right there is why I really enjoyed making that Plague path build uh, the other day. OK, where I showed off the uh, Zaw. That's basically the same concept here with the uh, Ram and the Galatine here. Basically, what I'm trying to do is keep attacking as much as I can. So I spread it. Hence why I'm using Arcane Strike. I have increased attack speed for how slow the Gram swings. As you see, well, thanks to how Gloom works, we're not dying. So uh i'll see y'all when an acolyte spawns because remember we got to do two uh two weapon comparisons in here i'll be the acolyte is deciding to come a little early for once so that's nice of course we get the one that's horrible for melee fights why wouldn't we right oh got him in time look at that i see it it does hit quite hard uh it obviously has problems specifically since it is blast it uh isn't the best on single turret but is really good on crowds as you're seeing with all the damage i'm dealing just everything kind of explodes. So there you go, 2.5 million. So I'll see you on the Galatine next. All right, and now here we are in the Sealpath mission, but with the Galatine this time around. <clears throat> so as you can see, one of the biggest differences already is the pure speed that I swing this fucking thing at. It's obviously much faster. But as you see with the whole uh, blast build working, oh damn, blast build is working quite well. As you saw, everything just kind of exploded there. And as you continue to well, stack up, your uh, combo count, weeping wounds, if I even remember to keep it on here, I didn't. Blood Rush just starts helping out the Galantine a ton. The biggest problem with Galantine being that it did not have a lot of crit. Thanks to the whole ability to just keep doing that, as well as Dagath giving me more with Grave Spirit that I just activated, I'm able to overcome the downside I had with the Galantine, which is having low crit chance. Not crit chance, crit damage. That is the earliest Vore I've ever seen. Huh. Yeah. As you see, it does quite well. And if I start mixing in some of my other attacks with it, like uh, my two, which I don't remember the name of off the top of my head, Doom, I'm able to uh, stack up my damage and let it spread just like just like that. <laughs> Everything just went boom. All right, but uh, these are just basic enemies. So I will see y'all when the uh, Acolyte spawns because I'm not having any issues currently, as you see. Oh, speak of the devil, here's Vor. You know what? Eh, I'm 2-1. Yeah, not, not the worst. I've seen better, All right, but I'll see y'all when the Acolyte's here. All right, the Acolyte has finally decided to spawn, so let's see what we get. I swear if it's the same one I just had, good, it's not. I don't think you even turn off abilities either, so I think I'm going to be in the clear for anything annoying. Oh, here we go. Oh, you're this one. You turn off your own status effects. There you go. All the status effects. No, I'm curious. Pop. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. That's the Galantine versus the, uh, the Acolyte, so... I will see y'all back in the orbiter so I can give you all my final thoughts on the two uh, on the two weapons. So I'll see y'all then. All right, so we are back from the mission. So what do I think about the two weapons? When it comes between the Galantine and the Grand Prime, 
Overall, I still prefer the Grand Prime personally because it is a weapon I've been using for a long time, but they both are very usable and very viable. I still think the Grand will outpace the Galantine, but that's kind of my bias because I really like the um, I really like the Gal uh, the Grand Prime with the Galantine, but again, personal preference. So uh, tell me in the comments what weapons you want to see next time uh, next time in the next video, because more than likely next week is going to be another Incarnal weapon because I just need for it to come back on rotation because apparently I never grabbed it. I think I skipped it and grabbed another one on the same rotation. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you all in the next one. Make sure you guys hit that like button and do subscribe and turn on that bell for post notifications so you always get notified whenever I post another video. I do appreciate all the subscriptions and I do appreciate all the comments you'll leave in my uh, all my videos. See you all in the next one. Peace out.